I greet you in Jesus' precious name. I want to ask you a question. Are you being a faithful witness for Jesus Christ? That's the question. What do you mean, Angus? I want to ask you, who are you reflecting in your life? Are you reflecting God? Are you reflecting yourself, your family, your business, your ability to do something where maybe you're a good sportsman? Who are you giving the glory to? Now, you know, the other morning I was going for a jog and it was very early. It was still dark and uh, I ran with a light. I was running at about half past four in the morning. It's winter here at the moment. And I saw something that was so amazingly beautiful, a full moon. You know that full moon when it's so beautiful and orange and it's so close, I almost felt I could reach out and touch it. That's how it was. It was so light that I didn't have to use my lamp. And I was running along and I was praising the Lord. And then I remembered, Jill shared with me, my wife, a long time ago about the faithful witness in the sky. And then I remembered, you see, that moon has got no light of itself. The moon's got no light. What it is, it's a reflector. So before the sun comes up, young man, in the morning, when it's still dark, there's no sun, not even a, si a sign of any sunshine, uh, sunrise. That sun is shining up against the moon. And the moon is reflecting the sun. Isn't that beautiful? And as I was running, the Lord said to me, Angus, I want in my heart, he never spoke to me audibly. I want you to be a reflection of me. I want you to reflect me when you go out today. I want you to speak nicely to people. I want you to help that old widow across the road. I want you to give that man a second chance when he's made a mistake. That guy that cuts in on you when you're driving your motor car to work. Instead of shaking your fist at him, <laughs> I want you to say, God bless him. Because you don't know why he's panicking. Maybe he's got a sick child in the motor car. Maybe he's got to get to work. Maybe he's just angry. I don't know. Maybe he's got problems at home. So be patient. I want you to reflect my glory. Isn't that wonderful? And then I thought of a character in the Bible by the name of John. John the Baptist. That's right. He was a true witness of Jesus Christ. You see, he had no light of his own. People, people, he had many people following him before Jesus came. Uh, started his ministry. Many people would say, are you the Messiah? He would say, no ways, I'm not the Messiah. He would say, I'm not even, I'm not even worthy to tie his sandal straps. I'm not even worthy. Okay? He did not touch God's glory. I want to say to somebody watching this program, and maybe you're a full-time worker for the Lord. Maybe you're even a preacher. Be careful that you don't touch God's glory. Because that is fighting talk. God will not accept that. And I'm talking to myself as well. We are to lead people to Christ, not to ourselves. Not to our church, not to our denomination, and not to our idea of the doctrine, but to Jesus himself. He will do the rest. See, Even when we pray for the sick and Jesus heals them, be careful, folks, that you don't touch God's glory. They say that Francis of Assisi, was asked to pray for a little child that was severely physically handicapped. And he didn't want to. And they said, why not? And he said, because he's, God's going to heal him and then you're going to think it's me. They said, no, we won't. And he prayed over that little baby. It was all twisted and malfunctioned. And that baby just un unraveled and was a beautiful, gurgling little baby. They could not believe it. They saw the glory of God take place in that miracle. And straight away they turned around and they wanted to, what did they want? To, that's right, they wanted to worship Francis of Assisi and he ran for his life out of town, not to touch God's glory. Paul was the same. It's not us, it's God. Folks, we need to reflect Jesus Christ and Him alone. There's no light in us, it's all in Him. Until next time, goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit AngusBucken.com dot com